why I'm going to sleep easily, happily. I'm not dreaming. What happened then? And most I don't people, feel uh, afraid. No, no, you're not afraid at all at your sleep. You're actually afraid of your awake state life. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when we're awake on Earth, and many of us, when we're awake, we don't have as good a life as we do when we're asleep. Right? And so what we do is we don't like being awake as much as we like being asleep. Because when we're asleep, we have a better life. You see? So when you really enjoy going to sleep, and you really enjoy staying asleep for a long time, it's a good indication that you're not that happy, as happy with your awake life as you are with your sleep life. Does that make sense? And um, a lot of times we don't remember it because if we remembered our sleep life and how good it was, when we come back to our awake life, we would feel even more sad. And we're avoiding the feeling of sadness. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? If your life in one... It's like if you're in two different countries. If you were here in Sweden and you're in Spain and you could live in two of those countries every day, right? And you liked Spain, but you hated living in Sweden, right? then most of you would choose to live in Spain under those circumstances every single day, wouldn't you? You would want to, surely. Right? And then when you came back to Sweden, how would you feel? You'd feel like, I don't want to be here, it's very sad, um, I, I feel alone now, I swear, not where I would like to be. Now, if you imagine your sleep state in the spirit world as a different country and your awake state here in Sweden, when you, if you enjoy your sleep, then it's highly likely you're really having fun in your sleep state. But then when you come back to your awake state, if you were conscious of the fun that you had in your sleep state, you would miss it terribly. So what you do is you blank out remembering what kind of fun you've been having so that you don't have to feel sad. And many people do this all the time. Yeah? Can we have mobile phones off if there's a mobile? Can you just switch off our mobile phone? And Mary, thanks. <laughs> so, um, but it's still the one soul guiding our life in the still awake and the sleep state. Yeah. And so how much fun can I really be having in my sleep state if in my awake state I'm actually quite unhappy? Well, the fun you're having in your sleep state is highly likely to be involved around meeting your addictions yeah. that you're not able to meet in your awake state for whatever reason. Yeah. So that's the problem. The reality is that if we have a soul that has worked through a lot of its emotional issues in our feelings then we would have fun no matter where we are, whether we're awake or asleep. Yeah. But there must be fear that I'm avoiding in my awake state for me to feel sad. Yes. Uh, yeah. Otherwise I would take action and then I would feel happier. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You can leave the mic on actually. Right? Yeah. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. These are all sleep state. We, um, I've been giving a series of talks recently about the sleep state. So if you want to know more about the sleep state, there's a series of talks that I've begun to give. And one of them's already on YouTube about the sleep state and what actually happens in the sleep state. Now, there is a lot of positive and negative things that happen in our sleep states. Just like on Earth, there's a lot of positive and negative things that happen on Earth. And we need to... If we, if we allow ourselves to know the truth, we can work through many things as a result. We can, we can enjoy both states and remember both states seamlessly. Yes? 